Interestingly enough, our journey largely started here at Turanga Library where we designed and built the first parts for one of our early prototypes, which was part of the 2019 Aerospace Challenge. My name is Philip Zoltrop. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Care Aerospace. We're building a large solar-powered unmanned aircraft for Earth observation purposes. The aircraft is designed to take aerial images. It effectively fills the gap between manned aircraft and satellites. Something like a laser cutter is something that a startup usually doesn't have at the beginning. We had a very, very short time period to, to build and design an aircraft as part of the challenge. I mean, more or less just weeks. For us, the value was really in coming into the library and being able to just trial and error, so effectively fail, fail forward, fail fast. This is a small prototype section. Um, we actually designed these parts in the library here. The software is really, really easy to use, and I think it took me like maybe 10, 10 minutes with staff uh, induction here. The beginning was just great to have people around that were knowledgeable and that were just keen to help, but I think over time it was even like building a relationship with the people here, um, especially Robbie and Danny who were like super, super supportive. So if you come out of a, let's say, less technical environment, then these machines, you know, like they sound cool to you, but they're probably not really in your reach. They might sound unaffordable, or you just simply don't know anyone where you could try it. So with the library actually having all of that equipment and also having the support so that you can actually come in just with your idea in your head, that's a game changer. The machine that's available here is actually state-of-the-art. It's not cheap, but I think it has paid itself off. Instead of, you know, like just providing value to one company or one startup, um, it pretty much like splits this whole value on, on the whole community. And I'm pretty sure that, that this machine has added value like magnitudes like larger to what the initial cost was. So I think it's, it's pretty amazing that you know, people can pretty much come in and make parts here.